San Martin. It's seriously so beautiful and the architecture is insane. Like why did he stop like building like this? Right. Who knows? But it's stunning. It is. And it's just surrounded by beautiful buildings. Yeah. Everywhere you look. I wonder if 
people like live up there. Looks like it, huh? Yeah, it kind of does. Here, Looking like up there. Mm -hmm. Looks like people still have their faces up there. But yeah, we're just enjoying this. It gets so stunning. We're having a nice sit in the park right now. I was just saying how it's so nice that these little parks just kind of like break up the city. Yeah. It's weird how you can be in like a different city and just walk for like hours and hours and hours. Like you wouldn't do it in your own town, really. Yeah. Like we wouldn't spend an entire day walking around Nashville. No. I would probably spend a day walking around Boston. Like that's, yeah. I've done that. I think we did that last time we visited too. Yeah. Which is nice, but we haven't done it in a while. Mm -hmm. It's been so nice, like going to the different neighborhoods and everything. And we just tried Chapa. Yeah, Chapa. Chapa for the first time, and we found the vegetarian place, which was nice. Because we haven't been able to, or maybe we just weren't looking. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, we haven't really planned out where we're going to eat a whole lot. Yeah. That's kind of throwing us off. Because yeah. we're just like, well, let's just go walk around and see what we find. You know how, like, um, in more touristy places, like in Miami, if you go to Collins and stuff, like, there are people there that are asking, like, try this place, try this place, like, try their restaurant and everything, and everybody's like, try here. And it's, like, completely throwing us off because we're, like, we're like feeling uh, under pressure. No, thank you. We also have, if you can see, we have, like, sunscreen literally, like, all over us, and we used, like, not a great one. And yeah, it, like, it didn't work at all yesterday. I'm so red. It, no, and it's, like, all in his beard, and mm -hmm. it's, like, flaky rumbling on my nose. We're just kind of enjoying the square and people watching. People watching. And then we're gonna head back, um, probably down to the Bronco and check out the bridge. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited for tomorrow. We're going to Cochina tomorrow. We're getting up super early, so early. We have to be there at I think five. like six o'clock, maybe five. Five fifteen. I don't know. Something I have to double like check. that. Yeah, <laughs> but. We're excited for that. We're gonna go sand surfing. That's gonna be so much fun. I know. I've been sand surfed since I think uh, Florinopolis, like years ago. So. And I've never excited. sand surfed, so I'm just really excited for that. Yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> like, let's go over here where we have more privacy. Mm -hmm. Oh, third. He's like, oh crap. Now, which one do I choose? My man, my man, my man. only said it like three times now. No. Anyways, we went with um, some cappuccinos. Got a nice paper straw. Oh, Bridge of Sai. Bridge of Sai, that's what it Bridge is. Bridge of Sai. Okay. Yep, we are heading there right now, walking through the neighborhoods in Bronco and just really appreciating the calmness. Quiet. Yeah. It's so beautiful and calm over here. Mm -hmm. There are so bad oh He's looking over like you, he's like, hey, come film me. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. This mm -hmm. has been so relaxing, like, being on this side. Like, yeah. over in Plaza San Martin, like, that whole area and everything was... This is very busy. Yeah. There's a lot of people out there. Yeah. Well, they also had the festival today, and there was a mm -hmm. wedding, so... Ooh. I told you. <laughs> That's cute. Kind of 
a bully. <laughs> Okay, so we got to the bench. Apparently, you're supposed to like hold your breath while you're going across. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> is just to let a little bit of air out at a time as oh, you're going across. I was just trying to like how it through. It's not that long. Like I can hold my breath underwater for three minutes, but yeah. I also don't have anybody walking in front of me. <laughs> True. It's pretty. Oh, this is also where we saw like everyone laying out the other night. It was so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there's like little uh, pop-up markets down there. Yeah. or the islands are over there behind there. Look at these guys. The most beautiful colors. That light orange, uh, blue. Love that. Mm -hmm. I know, we're looking at these patios over here and just like dying over the view. And I love how they have like the greenery. These people even have like the palm trees on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But how so stunning. Nice. Goals. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're just like every morning gratitude for that view. something on the inside. It's like the smallest amount of like huh. custard or something. Let's see what this middle part is. More sugar. Is it really? Oh. It's doughy. I don't know. I'm gonna take it out because it's a lot of sugar. Very messy. Mm -hmm. Roger didn't try to eat this while, we're, while we were watching the sunset. You know I was actually thinking about that like we should it would be so cute if we just like sat and look at our croissants. <laughs> <laughs> that would not have been cute at all. No, that would have been like messy. Are know, they so. all right? We would have been walking back like water. <laughs> yeah. This is really 
There's been a festival, like everywhere we go. Yeah, People everybody. Just, everyone's out. Everyone's out. Just enjoying everything. We wanted to save these for the morning. Mm -hmm. Since we're getting up so early, maybe I'll we'll save half of it. Yeah, that's what I kind of want to think of. We have got bananas for the morning. Mm -hmm. We're going to get up at 3.30, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, because we got to leave here by 4.30. And then our our bus departs at 5.15. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be uh, early morning. Maybe we'll get a little bit of sleep on the bus, mm -hmm. if we're lucky. Well, the bus ride is three half hours. -ish. Yeah. Definitely sleep on there. And then we'll be in Caracas for the morning and for the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be taking the bus to is it Ica. Mm -hmm. And then from there Ica. we go to Huachin. Guys, I cannot wait to see. So we're going to take a boat, a boat ride, boat tour. And it's in Paracas. In Paracas, and there are like it's a tour of Corman's Galap Galap Galapagos. Galapagos. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of sea lions. I think there's penguins on the tour too. Mm -hmm. It's like a boat tour. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited. They take you around on the water. Yeah. Be a good time. We've seen a bunch of videos where people go when it's like a little bit cooler. Yeah, I feel like we're kind of here in the summer. In the summer, which is the best time. Especially being on the water, it's a little bit cooler. Mm -hmm. You get that ocean breeze. So it's nice. I don't know, I feel like I feel like we packed kind of perfectly mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. Yeah. We might do a little shopping when we're in... Buenos Aires? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go up on the roof. So you can get a drink if the rooftop bar is open. Mm -hmm. If not, we're gonna head downstairs. Mm -hmm. It's a cutie little restaurant right downstairs. Mm -hmm. Can you get your um, sour? Disco sour? Disco sour. We are dying to try that. Yeah. This is not doing it justice. Yeah, you, of like how I don't think you can see how red I am. No, his. He's like so red, he has like a line. Across my neck, from mm -hmm. where my necklaces were. Mm -hmm. And I have, I changed changed my outfit because I wanted to cover up this part. Cause I'm so, <laughs> You're so red there. I'm so red yeah. under here. So I just wanted to like cover up my chest a bit. And I also have like a place from my necklace, like where my necklace was. It's <laughs> just a little white. Oh, we didn't tell you guys, but yesterday, we were gonna try and go to uh, where we went today. Yeah. And then we tried. We were like, all right, let's do this. Let's let's take public transit. So we'll get on a bus, and we're like looking it up on Google Maps, and we're like, okay, this is where it says the bus stop is. There's like a big S on the ground, and then we couldn't miss it. Yeah. So There's a big S where you're supposed to stand. And it says like our bus is like S. Is Oh, it's eight zero or something. Yeah, it like tells that. you like the number of the bus. It also tells you. Me, it also tells you when the bus is set to arrive, which is yeah. really nice. Which we went off that because none of the buses actually had that number on it, and then we like got on the bus and. No, first we we were chatting, so we missed. We yeah. missed our bus, mm -hmm. so then we had to wait another like five minutes for the next bus. Yes, and then when. We got, we like, you have to flag down the buses here. It's not like Chicago or New York where yeah, it's they like, don't stop. this is the bus stop on the corner of Clark Street and whatever. And then you get on and you ride it to this stop. It was completely different. Yeah, it was, it was just like a random like stop in the middle of the sidewalk. Yeah, it was crazy. But we got on and I showed him where we were going. So I was expecting him just to be like, get on the bus. Is this much? <laughs> yeah, like we were waiting for him to be like, okay, now, now pay. Because yeah. he was telling other people like how much it was. Yeah. And he didn't say it to but us. He seemed just as confused as we did for where we were trying to go. Yeah. Which was even more confusing. And then he said a bunch of stuff and I couldn't like get the translator thing on my phone to figure it out fast enough. So we go a couple of stops and then 
he like flags down some guy who was holding the street with yeah with a clipboard says something to the guy and then he tells us to like this is like the stop so we get off and the guy with the clipboard tells us something yeah like, he something. just like points down the street go that it's way it's that way it's that way so we were like, <laughs> we're what's, like what's that way we didn't understand we were like well, that was bold of us to try. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> we'll just take an Uber. What and we were going in the complete wrong direction. Because when we got off, we had to backtrack and walk back to where we started from and, like, yeah. go across the street that way. So we literally, like, went down the street and had to yeah. <laughs> go all the way back where we came from. And we're like, sick. That worked out good, though. Yeah, we had such a nice walk in the neighborhoods and stuff and, like, see the different places. And yeah. Pop into the boba, and like mm -hmm. we wouldn't have seen that stuff if we had taken the bus. So. Yeah, and I feel like uh, we've had a, a lot of just good positive experiences with the locals, and just like mm -hmm. them being so patient with us as we're like trying to figure this all out. Yeah. So we really appreciated that as well, because you know, going into it, you don't want to come off just like you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like a little kind bit of, embarrassing like, and stuff. Yeah. But we've been really trying to communicate and yeah the yeah. best that we can and yeah you know, but I feel like we've had mostly had really good experiences yeah people are just like really patient and yeah so that's been nice yeah while we figure it out mm -hmm. <laughs> we're learning we're trying our best with the Spanish yeah well we're gonna go all right yes get a drink Let's go. this will be our first drink in Lima we didn't end up getting the physical sours, we just got, um, you know, mules. Cheers. The physical sour on the menu, so we can try and find a place in front of us for how to shoot that as it. It's kind of spicy. Good morning. Too short. Right. What's the opposite of perks of a travel day? We'll let it linger. 